She Hulk, Daredevil, get down. Get in that dick, devil, son. Oh my god. We're going to talk a little bit about, what is it, episode seven? No, eight? Of, eight. Eight of She-Hulk. The only episode that matters. We're going to rant about it because... Very quickly. Normally, I do all the rants. I'm but tired. Noob Noob is tired, but he wanted to rant with me. I did. Although, I would disagree because he, want, he loves it. Positively rant. He loves this episode. It's the greatest episode in a pile of dog garbage. That's fine. Dog dookie. Charlie it's, Cox is the best. I mean, Charlie Cox. Well, you know what? What is interesting is Charlie Cox is the best. He brings. He's so like charming and actually a good actor. He actually, him and, and when Tatiana Maslany actually act together, there seems to be a little chemistry. Oh, there's, there's some chemistry. They could actually act together. I think I would. I would smash both of them. <laughs> so Daredevil shows up on She Hulk for one of the best superhero hookups. So there's some things I really like about this episode, and then there's some things that I really hate about this episode. And this is the only reason, first of all, we've done shorts on every single one of these She-Hulk episodes. You could check them all out in the order up finale here. Finale next week. We're going to do a finale. Yeah. But this is the Daredevil episode. The one you, you could watch. I would. This is the one episode I would watch again. Right? Uh, I mean, yeah. I would out not of, watch the a others. single episode out of, of the others, She-Hulk. For sure, yeah. I would. You could watch this by itself and never watch another She-Hulk episode. You could probably watch all of them up to this one and just watch this one and maybe the finale and you'd be good. It's still pretty fucking unclear what's going on. I don't think they know as the writers because they don't know how to write courtroom drama because this is the first time they actually used courtroom lingo to any effect whatsoever yeah. because She-Hulk is a terrible lawyer. And Daredevil fucking just dick slaps her in the face. The fact that she wins uh, Female Attorney of the Year ends up being a joke. No, everybody wins Female Attorney yeah, of the Year. Yeah, that's what I don't understand about this show. Initially, it's like, oh, you won Female Attorney of the Year. You're the best Slay Queen. You're amazing. And then it turns out that they all win it and they're not suspicious of it. Like, what? It seems it's weird. It oddly demeans women and uplifts them at the same time. I think they know that it's demeaning, but they I, I don't know. They'll still take the award anyway because Slay Queen. Yeah, exactly. So Daredevil finally shows up and he makes her look like a clown. She is a clown. She is. She does not a fight. She does not do anything. And she's like, it's so weird how every single scene in this movie, she's like, or in this episode, she's like. Oh my god. He makes me so horny. She is a horny girl. That is true. Like a lot of the scenes, she's like, Oof, are you feeling this? Yeah, and she like looks at the camera and is like, oh my god. He's like making me so horny. Me so horny. That's basically she hulk summed up in one sentence. Me so horny. <sighs> After she decides that she's well, she's required to defend uh that ribbit route, ra- ra- leap route. Well, let's look at the Easter eggs because that might explain the actual episode a little bit better than we are. We're gonna rip it and rip it because leapfrog or the terrible joke that they tell, which is on the guardian frog. Uh, yeah, no. that was such a bad joke. Like, the joke, I, w- I think I would like this series if the jokes landed because it's preposterous, but because the jokes are so bad, it's not a comedy. And it's not action. And it's a lot of self-inserts from the writers of really lonely women in their 30s who need some D. Hmm. So I'm confused. She file... uh, Jen Walters is required to help Leapfrog, Eugene, file a lawsuit against the manufacturer who just so happens to be her tailor. Have you ever seen anything that involved so much clothes? Uh... When you go big and green, you need things to be stretchy. Luke Jacobson, Griffin Matthews, who I kind of like his thing, although he's really rude to the judge, which means he would get slapped with a contempt of court thing. He doesn't know who his counsel is. 
She's like, do you have an attorney? He's like, are you stupid or am I stupid? Like, I know who my attorney is. Uh, I'm pretty sure the way that lo the law works, the judge has the filing in front of them and knows exactly who the attorneys are. And by the way, not one person, not one person on the internet has mentioned this. You heard it here first. Daredevil, who says he's an attorney at law in New York, does not have a license in California to operate as an attorney. It there's doesn't. no proof that he is an attorney at law in California. There's no proof that he's not. Are you kidding? You're telling me he's, he's uh, you know, he's licensed in all 50 states. He took the bar in all 50 states. Yeah, dude's smart. Yeah, I don't think so. It's ridiculous that Matt Murdock would show up as an attorney from California in New York. And he's like, I work pro bono in uh, New York and I occasionally show up for some high value. Cl Shut up, you idiots. You don't know how the law works. They even said it. The writers said they don't understand how the law works. They don't know how to how to write a law show. They don't know anything. Bunch of idiots. So anyway, she's like, oh, it's my show. Not previously on She-Hulk, it's previously on my show. Cause it's my show, not Daredevil's show. Then they talk about, you know, Leapfrog, mildly amusing, ribbit, rip it. Blows up his legs with jet fuel. Yes. Sure. He's created in 1966, Leapfrog. Did you know that? I did not. I thought he was 69. He's a, a down on his luck inventor that finds success in creation of a spring loaded leaping coils instead of, you know, jet fuel. Whatever, man. Gotta have that jet fuel. Makes you go fast. They, f this part irritated. Oh my God. They just wiped away Avengers Civil War in one sentence. They're like, yeah, we, uh, we overturned the Sokovia Accords. Something about Sokovia. They literally, they, are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, they just, they're like, yeah, they were overturned. They overturned the Sokovia Accords. In she freaking Hulk, you overturned the entire purpose of Avengers Age of Ultron and, and Civil War, the an entire two movies, two entire movies in one sentence in freaking She-Hulk? Are you effing kidding me? This is canon. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You're just like, oh, I'm cool with that. I loved it, bro. Why not? I'm, I'm, yeah. They overturn the Sokovia Accords in one That's sense. That's fine, as long as they don't overturn Roe v. Wade. Oh, and then, you know, amazingly, Jen unmasks, you know, Matt. And, like, what, she's, like, grabs him and just takes his head off, like, takes his, his mask off. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. I like, I like heads. Okay. The hall, they did, like, a reminiscence of his hallway fight. His iconic... Best thing Marvel TV has ever done on Netflix and all of everything. The first season of Daredevil with his iconic hallway fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they like mirrored that. Okay, fair enough. They make a joke. Th these are all Easter eggs from Collider. Uh, they make a joke about f he, uh, Lily. They're at the lily pad, which has a goddamn neon sign that says lily pad on it, you know, for a hideout for a villain. Or hero, whatever you want to call it. I don't know anymore. He's like, oh, they should add some, you know, modifications to my suit with like a fancy British AI that talks to you. You know, they're talking about Jarvis. Yeah, Jarvis. You love the Wakanda part. Wait, Wakanda's in this? You, you, this is your favorite part. Where Todd, the tech bro, he, he bought a Wakanda spear. Oh, yeah, no. That was your favorite part of the entire... Super racist. Super racist. Is it... What's more uncomfortable? Him buying the spear and being, like, naked in it? Him being or, white, I think, is the most uncomfortable. Or She-Hulk being uncomfortable with him saying Wakanda no, forever. No, him being white is the most uncomfortable. He throws a Wakanda forever. You don't... You don't that's not super uncomfortable. I don't know. Yeah, but it's uncomfortable because he's white. Mm-hmm. So, like, if he was black, more power to you. It would be okay, then. It would be. Yeah. 
She's never heard of Daredevil. Isn't that shocking? Because she's a bitch. She also mentions the Red Hulk. Do you know who the actual Red Hulk in the comic books is? Bruce Wayne. Betty what? Uh, not Betty Wayne. Betty <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> Betty Ross. The Hulk's girlfriend? No. Nobody reads the comic books anymore? Uh, Thunderbolt Ross's daughter? Yes. Oh, my God. Forget about it. Yeah. No one cares. I, I got guess. a tinkle. Oh, my God. You're going to have to hold it. Another Wolverine reference. What? I missed that. That's not a Wolverine reference. Where Nikki hops in the room and she's got, like, all the makeup brushes. That is not true. Sure. Yeah. The one thing I did want to talk about, they don't mention it, is do you remember the intelligentsia and the mask that they wore? Maybe. Do you remember Doomcock? Nope. You've never seen Doomcock? Do you remember the masks? Nope. You don't remember the masks that they wore? They were white? No, they wore weird masks. They were brown. What? They were red, purple, blue. There, okay, well, here's a really good picture of it. Do you think these two masks resemble each other? A little bit? Um, oh, sorry. I, I Are you bit. retarded? What is yes. wrong with you? Oh, is that Kang, the Conqueror? Which one is wait? Which one is Doomcock, the left or the right? Middle. Which one is She-Hulk? Blackface. The middle is Blackface, right? No, there's only two masks here. Pick one. Oh my god. Uh Doomcock is the right. And which one's the left? A monkey. Oh my god. So the She-Hulk appears to model You don't think it models Doomcock a little bit? Who the fuck is Doomcock? And I've done like five videos on Doomcock. How you, are you? You not- think I pay attention to your videos? You got another thing coming. Oh my god. Do you think these masks resemble each other on any level? Uh, well, you know, if, if you're taking it from the base level, no. Not at all. Because Not even a little bit. One is super chocolate. No. The other is gold. Oh my God. You're... Um, the other one has like weird facial structures. Why do I even talk to you? That's a strong jawline. I think you could take a mean dick. The one to the left... Mm, you would think his mouth is a little more closed with his complexion he would have thicker lips so when the intelligentsia wears these masks and puts up the revenge porn of she-hulk yes and they're accusing her of being a slut and all those other things she is you don't think that they're trying to take a shot at this youtuber no you don't think these masks resemble each other at all they're like Similar. You, do you remember in the episode where they were talking about the intelligentsia and they were showing all the YouTubers that were saying like how to kill She-Hulk and She-Hulk sucks and she shouldn't even be in her own show and all that stuff? No. Mm, you don't nope. watch the show? I don't. Aren't you the one who does the reviews of this show? Nope. Did you not pay attention to anything? Nope. Okay. Well, it seems like Marvel Disney has a hard-on for Doomcock. Because it sure seems like they're spoofing Doomcock in these videos where they're like doing all these things and then they're saying like, you know, the members of the intelligentsia look like Doomcock. I think there's a possibility of a connection there. Sure. I They're not dissimilar, but I wouldn't say they're exactly identical. Really? They're close enough. So they're taking shots. Next time, they're just going to have a noob noob hat on. It's going to say boob boob. And then you're going to be like, that's not really me. It's going to say N instead of Z. Really? What? You don't see any resemblance there. Not really. You don't? <laughs> really? A lot of different colors going on. <laughs> you are just, you're really into colors. But they're like, Kind of similar, but like one's like Planet of the Apes and one's like a golden what? Cum guzzler. I don't, dude. I don't know, dude. You must have lost. You've lost them. I'm super tired. I'm so tired from not working all day long. I'm so tired. It's hard. Not wah, doing wah, 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 wah. Honestly, that makes you more tired. I just sit there and do nothing all day. I congratulations. You're welcome. As someone who 
who bags groceries for a living. Uh huh. I hope that you enjoy what you do, do for like a living. I do like bagging bananas. I like <laughs> That's to hold the them. highlight of your life. I like to hold them when from you, the tip and work my way down. When you're bagging things during yeah. the day and you're like, you see bananas, you're just super excited. Oh my god, I double fuck, I double fist them. Sometimes I squeeze too hard, the customer's unhappy. <laughs> you're like, they're like, oh my god, you ruined my banana. My manager is. I've had to refund like twelve dollars worth of bananas, and bananas are cheap, so that's a lot of bananas. That is a lot of bananas. It is. Oh, well, anyway, catch our live streams if you want to listen to this idiot and this other idiot do our live streams. It's 7.30 p.m. Friday night, Easter Standard Time. We do have our live audio podcast, which you can catch every... Uh, we release it on Sundays, I guess, but it's free to you. You can uh, subscribe. It's on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those places and more. Catch our 10-second reviews because they are super awesome and exciting. Watch the Cowboys lose every game they possibly can. Whoa. And on top of that, share, like, and subscribe, or Noob Noob will make these videos longer by doing this. I will just sleep the entire episode. I'll I'll sleep either with or without you. Uh, Hopefully with you. Or at least it's not even 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will. For our worldwide viewers... This mofo can't even stay up past I 10 o'clock I will transition bedtime. your mother to a lesbian and just fucking scissor her dry. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's what you're in store for. Because you are a they-them. I am. I'm a, I'm a god. Uh-huh. Amen. Anyway, uh, whatever. This is nonsense. But, <laughs> and he's now topless. I cannot control this. Share. Like, subscribe. We love all y'all. But we are on to the next one.